So for an architect, automation is not so much about making things faster or more efficient, it's about trying to reimagine what's possible in terms of design. What we're trying to do is use the robots as a way of developing new techniques that then open up a new space of design possibility. So in the lab, we see the robot as an incredibly flexible tool that we can develop a whole series of different possible fabrication techniques for. So these include things like incremental metal forming, so to form sheet metal, 3D printing, and also other techniques like foam carving, where we're carving foam and then using that to make concrete moulds. So our most recent project has been for NGV, and this is a project called Flow. It's a pavilion that was installed in the Great Hall, and this is predominantly 3D printed. It's composed of 70 3D printed panels. Each panel is about 1.8 metres tall. These come together to form a canopy for the pavilion. Very early on, when we started to acquire robots in, in our school, uh, we were pointed in the direction of Scott Automation and developed a, a pretty good rapport and relationship with them in the fact that they were willing to work with us in fairly unusual ways and with fairly quick response. A lot of the work we do is very experimental and so in working with Scott it's allowed us to have a partner which is able and willing to develop new techniques with us, develop new tools and to work with us as we evolve the processes. Our reliance on Scott Automation is based on the fact that we know if we're in a tight spot that we can call them out of hours on the weekends and that we're going to get fast response. With some of the most recent extrusion projects that have been happening, we've had to acquire new equipment and modify it straight out of the box. Scott Automation have been able to help us with that. The other thing that's been really crucial is we work in very tight timeframes. Some of our recent projects have involved 3D printing 24-7. And so when we're doing this, of course, we need support. Having a partner who's willing to come in and to quickly rebuild things, to quickly change and modify the tools, to enable us to keep the projects going has been crucial. As well as providing educational opportunities for students, RMIT take on several commercial projects throughout the year. Scott Automation's engaged in these commercial projects to provide technical and application engineering solutions, as well as 24-7 service support that helps RMIT meet its deadlines. Some of the robotic facilities that we've got in the school are very easily accessible to students so that they can essentially access them in a supervised workshop area or even after hours. And we're relying on Scott Automation's ability to provide those safe solutions. Some of those students may then go on into further research projects at RMIT and it's a great stepping stone to get them to explore much more widely in the world of robotics. So in the lab I guess we're trying to straddle both academia as well as a link or translation to industry. So we're bringing students in, opening up opportunities for them to develop new techniques, but at the same time we're looking at the way we can take these technologies and then translate them out into industry, take some experimentation we're doing and try and bring that to market.